things that I try to do to not hold back is, well, one, for one thing, I think it's a mentality thing. Um, I really have to tell myself that I don't want to regret anything or anything. I don't want to regret not trying things. I don't want, I don't want to be scared of being in the same place that I was before, um, whether when it comes to creating things or when it comes to taking class. Um, or any performance or project that I'm part of. So it's a lot of telling myself to push past something that I'm uncomfortable with. So that's one thing that helps me a lot. Um, in, terms of, in terms of movement, it's just something that I have to try. Um, um, again, like pushing my boundaries a little bit more and know that if I can, if I can get something past uncomfortable, then then like it's working for me and I'll eventually get to somewhere that that I want to be later on. Um, I teach dance because I like teaching. I like I like helping people and leading them to get better and I feel like when I'm growing I want them to grow with me so um, plus I love it being efficient. I love efficiency, so um, I feel like when I teach, I can just like bring people with me. Um, I think there are a lot of different things about students that catch my eye, um, and it's it's usually the things that I'm into myself. So if someone, like let's say, if someone is really on point with their musicality or if someone's really patient with their music, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like that person is so cool with their timing and whatnot. Um, but there's also something about really being genuine with your performance. So when I feel like someone is really, really in it and there's nothing that's breaking them from that, it's, it's so, what's the word? Um, I don't know, it's so moving. You just can't get away from it. So, those are the things that catch me, yeah. Be the bridge!